Hey guys, it's Jen, and I am feeling a little bit vampy, if you can see. I guess October has just been a vampy month for me, and I've been really enjoying it. As you may have known if you've been following my channel, I've been doing a lot of little Halloween tutorials. So if you're still in need of a Halloween look this year, I'm gonna just post up a bunch of my tutorials all right here. If you haven't seen them, go check them out one last time. A couple of them are mainly focused on the makeup, so even if you don't have a costume, maybe you could just paint your face and trick or treat people. See, hi, hi to tricker. Scare people that come to the door asking for candy. <laughs> I have actually a few skincare things this month, I think because I've been doing so much crazy makeup that I've really been needing to like remove it and take care of my skin underneath. So let's get started with my October favorites. All right, the first thing I want to talk about is my Mario Badescu Glycolic Acid Toner. This is a product that I really have used it quite a bit and I've barely made a dent in it because I don't use it every day. It's kind of strong. You just put it on a cotton pad and I only use it maybe like once a week max when I feel like I need some extra exfoliation because like I said, it's really strong. When I put it on my face, it kind of stings my eyes a little bit. So just fair warning about that. But because it is a glycolic acid-based product, it does increase the cell turnover in your skin and it makes me just feel like my skin is a little bit renewed and just like kind of sloughs off all the junk that's sitting on top of it. I really like it. I feel like it keeps my skin healthy. But again, just kind of use it at your own pace. If your skin is a little bit more on the sensitive side, you might want to try it just in little increments and see how your skin reacts. Next, I wanted to talk about a eye makeup removing product. You guys know I really, really love dual phase makeup removers because they just get all of my eye makeup off Anything that's like crazy waterproof is no problem and it's just really easy to use and gentle. It doesn't leave any weird gunk in my eyes or give me any problems. So this Maybelline one, it's the Clean Express. Now you just shake it up to use it and then use it on a cotton pad, hold that against your eye and then remove the makeup. This works just as well as any higher end department store kind like Lancome Bifacil. I really like the Clinique Take the Day Off. This one is just as good and it's a drugstore product so it's considerably cheaper. I'm gonna keep repurchasing this versus going toward the higher end products because I'll save myself like 10 bucks. All right, next I wanted to talk about a product that I have talked about before. This is my Clinique Custom Repair Serum. The reason I'm bringing this up is because I ran out. I've loved it so much. I have been religiously using this day and night and I definitely saw a huge improvement in my dark spots. I have hyperpigmentation problems because I have acne and then my skin gets all dark and spotty and wants to stay there for like half a year. But this made it fade a lot faster, especially if I use it through the whole cycle of the spot. So I definitely recommend it. I'm gonna keep using this. I have another bottle, of course, already, kind of like overlapping them to make sure I don't run out. Definitely, definitely recommend this. The next thing I wanted to mention is my Too Faced Primed and Poreless Face Primer. I definitely grabbed this before I was doing any kind of heavy makeup and I feel like it did a good job of protecting my skin but also kind of like smoothing out any pores and imperfections before the heavy cakey makeup went on. Obviously if you're using regular foundation it's going to do an even better job because real foundation just looks so much nicer than one dollar cream makeup. I've really been liking it. This is a silicone based primer. If you tend to like that it kind of blurs everything and makes your skin look really flawless and airbrushed and perfect and also kind of mattified without over drying it. Definitely try it out if you are looking for a silicone based face primer. I also wanted to mention another oldie but goodie. This is my Clinique Cheek Pop in Plum Pop. I love this blush. I think I've been trying to do a little bit less heavy drier makeup lately. Again, with the weather kind of changing and getting a little bit drier, I didn't want the blushes that just kind of sit on top of your face. And these cheek pops do a wonderful job of just sinking into the skin and giving that partially translucent look. So it really looks like it's just glowing from within. It's gorgeous. Plum is the little bit like darker pinker color. So I feel like it's really great for fall time. Another staple in my makeup bag 
bag this month has been my dual glide on pencil from Urban Decay in Whiskey and Zero. Now these two colors have always been a mainstay in my stash like kind of like forever but it's just so handy to have the dual ended pencil because I don't know like sometimes I need a brown liner and sometimes I need a black pencil you know it's just all in one and I grab it a whole heck of a lot. It's really great. I use it a lot for eyeshadow base on my eyes before putting in the shadow so that it can give a really nice rich smoky eye without having to like pack millions of layers of powder on. So that's what I use it for most frequently and I also like using it to smudge on my lower lash line. Finally, I wanted to talk about my favorite cozy drink this month that has to be my butter rum hot chocolate. It's like kind of like how I would imagine Harry Potter butterbeer warm with hot chocolate. Like if you mixed those all together, I'd imagine this is what it tastes like. It's like hot chocolate, but a little bit more buttery and like it's just dipped in toffee. It's just like so wonderful and really nice whenever it's a little bit chilly outside. I got this from Lolly and Pops. They're a candy store in the uh, Glendale Galleria. So if you're like around that area, make sure you pop in there and pick this up because it's like, <gasps> oh, it's so good. It's so good. Oh, and it also has little butter rum crystally goodness so that you can do kind of like cocktail style. You can take your hot chocolate mug and before you pour in the hot chocolate, if you wet the outside and then dip it in the powder and then pour the hot chocolate inside as you sip it, you can get those nice delicious melty crystally bits like as you're drinking. <gasps> just so good if you guys like buttery things or rummy things or chocolate things definitely need to try this <laughs> So I guess that is about it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Actually, let me know down in the comments if you guys have a favorite delicious fall drink for me to check out as well. Let me know that, write it down there in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. I would absolutely love it. And also, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Anyway, this is Jen, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye. Hey guys, it's Jen, AKA Gamora from Guardians of the Galaxy. Hey guys, it's Jen, and today I have another Halloween tutorial for you. I know this looks like my everyday look, 